I really don't want to put this in the vlog today, but I'm pretty sure the transmission on the Volvo is dead. So while I'm going to be waiting here for the tow truck, I guess I'll just get some work done in my car. So as we go through the book of Job together, there's going to be a lot of similarities and things that almost like repeat themselves in certain sections. Kind of like today. Job chapter 10 through 13 is almost identical to Job chapter 6 through 9 in that there's this dialogue happening with Job, Job and his friends as to whether or not he has sinned and he's trying to tell them I haven't sinned, like God is just doing whatever he wants and they're like, no, you sinned. You need to get tracked together. I want to save this for a later vlog, maybe when we get to the book of Leviticus, but I think there is something to note when something is repeated in the Bible. Sometimes people can get bored with stuff being said over and over again, but I think it's a sign of God trying to communicate something. I want to save that, though, for another vlog. Job chapters 10 through 13... What, what struck me today about the reading was Job's honesty with God when it came to his suffering. That, you know, Job is just like, he's like, I'm done, God. I give up. Something that's difficult for me to do is to be honest with God in that way. Not that God can't handle me being honest with him, but there's something that makes me really afraid to share, like, the deepest darkest frustrations to God. I don't know what, what it is exactly, but I was, struck, I was struck by Job today and how just honest he is with the Lord. And I think for us, no matter what you're going through, that it's super important that we are honest with God. Yes, even though he knows everything already, that we just spill it all out before him. Heavenly Father, you always so I went to a meeting up in Denver. Well, at least I was on my way to a meeting up in Denver with other youth pastors, and for some reason my car just decided to stop working. And I'm just starting to think, like, maybe I shouldn't shouldn't go through Job. My problems nowhere near, like, they don't compare at all with what Job experienced. But it's... It's like, okay, I'm going through this Bible, like I'm going through this book of the Bible right now, in this reading plan, that um, talks about suffering and all this stuff, and it's like, all of a sudden, just stuff starts happening. And uh, I just think it's kind of funny, the irony in it. <laughs> but it's not a terrible day. There is something very cool and exciting that I'm going to show you all. I know what these are. Nice. For those of you who don't know, uh, this logo right here, you also see it oop, like right over there. And then, you know, we got these these t-shirts that came in. This is the Ridge One logo, and is the logo for the youth ministry here at Ridgeline. If you guys have any unique ideas of how to do these vlogs, different unique ways of how to, you know, the, the goal is of this vlog to go through the Bible in a year, and that's what we're going to do, that's the priority, but we also want to make it fun and interesting, so if you have any ideas that for these vlogs, I, 
I have some ideas like incorporating other people into these vlogs and things like that, but let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. The viewer.